When Kesevon Shrilla Patur plays tennis, he means business. But when Kesevon is in the classroom, things get even more serious. We can look off the same one. That's why it wasn't a surprise when the district tennis champ also became a class valedictorian. Aristotle. But what he did on the advanced placement exams was a bit of a shock. Kesevon went a perfect eight for eight on his AP exams. It's an amazing accomplishment that few in high school could achieve. But his eight come with a twist. Two past eight AP exams uh, is a huge accomplishment. He, for, for some of those exams, he wasn't even in the class. So, so he simply self-studied. Some of these subjects took the test and still got that four or five. It's pretty amazing. I didn't think those, like taking the class, I didn't think it was, uh, uh, it was super necessary for those tests. The thing with getting all those grades is sometimes the difference between like a three and a four is that you like put all that you put all the information down in a neat way that they can understand. There aren't many people that could pass an AP exam for a class they didn't take, let alone three. But Kesevon is not like most, and it all starts with the way he sees himself. He's very reflective. He considers often and deeply where he's not strong, and he works deliberately to, to develop what he believes those, those weaknesses are. Running away from weakness is sometimes easier, but I think what I've noticed is that if I just fix things, even just a little bit, make it a little bit better, then it'll just help me in the long run, and otherwise it'll just come back to bite you. That attitude certainly has helped Kesevon. He's off to Princeton in the fall, maybe the nation's capital after that, to help bring the scientific world and the governmental world a little closer together. But no matter what he does, his balanced approach to life in Denton will help.